finally got to a spot worth showing. Yeah, this is just a really cool site. I visited it ah, pretty much annually for the last couple of years and just love this place. All right, let's get in. Okay, we're just getting, sun's finally getting low in the sky and a little bit over cast. So let's see how these turn out today. There's a fierce view. Really neat stuff. Really like this. This guy right here is cool. Just an amazing cliff. It's hard to say how old this is, but it's fairly well preserved. The patina is pretty, really dark, but the sandstone behind it looks like it's dark as well. So, this seems to be the lightest of all the glyphs. And this one is kind of in the middle. This one right here is one of the darker, I think the darkest, is this one here. Wish I could tell you what it was, but. Anthropomorph there. There's the anthropomorph. There's the zoomorph. Remember, zoomorph, things that live in zoos. Stepping here into this little crevice. Got a couple of more. And that one's hard to see. Let's see if I can find a better angle. Yeah, maybe that's a little better angle. Kind of a cool little panel right here. Before I exit this little alcove, there appears to be a couple more right here. Oh, hey, and this doesn't look like much there. But that's definitely been incised and continuing on from that first panel. Got this anthropomorph right here. And some more symbols. And Pierce, some thing that's really dark. Is that little carved in glyph there? And Marks higher up, up there. Continuing on. This is what's so cool about this panel. These look like baskets. And let's take a look, closer look at a couple of these. You got this guy. Bow and arrow man with a uh, deer, possibly elk, something with horns. Some more anthropomorphs. There we go. Baskets right there with this spiral. These six basket looking things. Two more up higher. And last basket here on this panel. As we go around the rock, there's some more cool glyphs. Wish I knew what these meant, but. That's not for me to know, I suppose. Just a couple of 
things that are unusual at this one. Yeah, this cliff almost looks like a, who knows, who knows what it looks like, but it's cool. This anthropomorph, this spiral up here at the top. Kind of a neat spiral. And then this one that's it's difficult to see, but it's definitely there. All right, so just continue traversing. And got this anthropomorph here that's really difficult to see. And it's definitely been abraded in. This guy has got to be my favorite of this panel. So just cool glyph. So much going on there. Oh, let's take another look at this glyph here. A little closer on this. So very cool glyph. Seems to be anthropomorph of some sort with the uh, kind of a three fingers on each arm and some sort of headdress. And one of the things that's so unusual about this site is we have both petroglyphs and pictographs. So, here you go. And as is the case in so many of these rock art sites, you don't look everywhere, you miss things like this. Like this glyph up here. Something else interesting. Don't know if it. This little bowl carved in this rock, right here underneath of those petroglyphs. Don't know why. It's definitely been carved in there. I just kind of blew out the sand. And interesting, interesting little hole. This next uh, pictograph is pretty boldly painted. Interesting. There's a couple of more right at that same level. And continuing up onto the ceiling, another anthropomorph there. This one's hard to see, but kind of a reddish orange paint with a white paint in the center. Another red dot there. Continuing on from this cliff we just looked at. There's another anthropomorph there. A couple more all on this same level. It appears that there are a couple more on the ceiling. Let's get a different view. Interesting. So, here at this pictograph site, we've got a couple of little pit houses here as well. I don't know what they were used for. Possibly a granary, possibly for people that lived here. I don't see the real evidence of the wall being plastered or anything like that, but this wasn't probably wasn't too bad of a place to live. To take note of, this seems to be a recurring theme in a lot of the pictograph sites that I've been to are the two red dots 
It almost looked like eyes watching you. Here's some here. If we look over, two more sets up here. There we go. Then just one last look at this guy. Short ways away. Let's just take a closer view at this. There, how's that? Interesting anthropomorphs here. These guys that are just roughly scratched in. Really cool. So, I think that's about it for today. Sun's about to set. I guess that's about it for today. Uh, it's been a cool day. It's been a wonderful day. I've seen a lot of good stuff. This side is always one of my favorites. Got to see a couple of Pit house sites and uh, just a bit of bit of pottery pieces on the ground. Remember, those are protected. Just leave them. Take a look. If you pick anything up, put it right back where you found it. As always, when you're visiting a petroglyph site or pictograph site, don't touch. You can look, but be respectful. This is the history of the people who came before. And let's, let's respect them for that. That's it for today.